Uh, right, okay. Um, so, today uh, is an introduction to 3-2 uh, hornpipes. Um, so, um, I think, uh, first of all, I just wondered um, how many of you were familiar with with these sorts of tunes or had ever played them or um okay so so to most of you it's uh, a new sort of thing um but i wondered also how many of you were familiar with normal hornpipes non three two hornpipes um okay so again a, a, a couple but not not loads so um i won't talk too much about sort of normal hornpipes but um but for those of you who are familiar with them or well even if you're not um they're 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 in four four and they've got a, a dotted rhythm like so three two hornpipe um to be honest it's a bit confusing that they they're both called hornpipes because they're, they're they're quite different really so just kind of forget everything you know about like normal hornpipes if you know anything already or not. Um, so they um, they originate uh, in sort of northern England. That's sort of where they where they are mostly found. Um, though in the past there were uh, you know hundreds of them, um, but uh, there's sort of over the years you know they've got, they kind of died out, but um, they're, there's, they're kind of making a bit of a comeback, I think. Um, and there's a lot of, uh, sort of manuscripts of past sort of, um, music, uh, with a lot of these tunes. Um, and I think a lot of people are sort of starting to, to take them up again. So, um, as the name suggests, they're in, uh, three, two. So, um, to... That's um, the, the the basic rhythm. There is uh, you've got three lots of two beats. So it's da 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 da. Then that's one bar. Ba ba da 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 da. So the the most sort of familiar song or tune that you will probably know that follows this rhythm is uh, the song. Dance to your daddy, um, or it, yeah. So um, if you just think, um, you shall have a fishy on a little fishy. One two one two one two one. The dog comes in. One two 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 one two. So um, it can sound like a bit of a sort of funny, scary time signature, but actually, you know, it can flow quite nicely. Um, so, um, I thought maybe I'd just um, play some for you, so you could sort of hear them and get a bit of an idea. Um, so, this one is called uh, Rusty Gully, and it's um, a sort of fairly well-known sort of one. So, people find it to sort of follow could you follow the um the rhythm and where the bars sort of started or did you not were you not worried about it and just you know get a feel for the, the song anyway um 
it's hard to get the uh, feedback with it, that everyone unmuted. Uh, I, I found it a wee bit easier to kind of one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two okay. and three and yeah. one and two and three. And, um, yeah. Well, I mean, in a way, that's the same as going one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, you know, it's just using d different sort of words in a way. Um, so I guess if that's that's what works, then that's, you know, that's absolutely fine. Um, so we'll maybe just play another one, just so, so you know, get some, some more examples, more feelings for it. So this one is called Our Cat Has Kitted. Oh, actually, I'll do it, sorry. I'll do them all in C, just so that you can, you know. another one um, and there they they fit the sort of um, the mold quite quite well then um, so I'll just have a drink um, and then you do get some because of this sort of um, well actually let's just have a look at the um, if I show you some sheet music for some as well, because sometimes it, it helps to be able to see. So I'm just going to try and share my screen um, and see what happens, because I haven't really done this before. So, uh, is this it? What can everyone see? Me or my screen? <laughs> you currently. Ah. Right, hang on a minute. Oh, I thought this would be easy. Um, Have you been given permission to share? Wait, hang on a minute. Maybe not. This is what I'll do. Uh, right, sorry about this, everyone. Uh, I'd seen the share screen button and thought that if I press that, it would just do it, but I was wrong. Um, what, what do you see when you press it? Um, I came up with a thing that asked me, oh, here we go, security and privacy. So allow apps below to, to record the contents of your screen. I guess so. Yeah, the, the default. Yeah. So the matter that I'm down as a co-host at the moment, which is all my undoing from last night, I'm afraid, and Simon's not down as a co-host. No, well, the, the permissions are um, that anyone can share at any time but I can make you a co-host, Simon, see if that makes any difference. Hmm, um, okay. Sorry about this, everyone. No, it's all right. It's fine, it's amazing that we're here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, um, what harmonica was that? Was that a tremolo? tremolo? That was a tremolo, yeah, yeah, yeah. A tombow band. 21 tremolo. Um, so, yeah. Is that in a particular uh, key you're playing in? Pardon? What key, what key are you playing in, Simon? Uh, just C. Yeah. I, the, the first one I think I did in G, but I'll just do them all in C for now because, yeah, it's just better for everyone. Um, okay. Maybe, I don't know if I can, it should be easy, shouldn't it? But I've sort of got too much. Um, well, Sam, yeah, maybe if you could find what I'm looking for, um, and share it, which is just, um, 
a tune called Dusty Miller, which is uh, will be on a website called The Session, um, and then maybe share it. Um, but until then, D I'll Dusty play Miller. So, what was the website? It's called The Session. Okay. Yes. Um, Slip jig. It's a no three two. Um, there's, there's yeah section for for three twos in there. Oh okay, Dust, Dusty Miller on the session. Yeah, like it's, it's in G. Um, okay, well shall I just? It's just two lines long. Is that right? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's um, let's see if it works for me. Then. Uh, yeah, there we go. That should work. Ah, great. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So, yeah. So when you see it like this, um, yeah, you can see the sort of how the, the notes are arranged. And um, the thing to remember is, is it's three, two, it's not um, like six, four, because there's, there's, there are six uh, notes in a bar like that, but it, they're not like da -da 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 the way that it would be if it was six four. It's dun 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 dun. So um, this is one I thought we could maybe um, try and sort of learn together because it's quite a simple tune. Um, um, yeah, we've got time, so. I know it says it's, it's in G on this, but if but it's probably is it better for everyone to just do it in C, because um, if you don't read the music anyway, but it's just useful to have to see the rhythm. Um, I think yeah. on the on the sheet music, even if you you don't know about the notes. So um, I'll play it first. Is if we just uh, go through it really slowly, um, each bar at a time, um, and then maybe sort of yeah piece it together. Um, so I think what we'll do is I'll just play uh, the first bar and I'll just loop it round. I'll do it really slowly, and you can try and uh, join in. So. Was that I can't I can't see everyone but um, yeah if anyone wants to just um, at any point sort of mute themselves just to sort of ask questions or you know um, ask me to slow down or anything like that um, just 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 do it just don't worry about sort of interrupting um, so I think the best thing is if we do it a bar at a time because then you also get a feeling for like how how long a bar is as well. Um, so if we do the next bar really slowly. And we'll just loop it round. So 
And then let's go back to the first one because actually the next bar is a repeat of the first one. So we'll put, we'll, um, we'll repeat the first one a few times again, we'll repeat the second one a few times and then we'll put them together. So. That's too fast. If anyone wants that slower, just just say as well. So then let's have a go at the second one again. two together. So. And we'll repeat that together just slowly. Is that, how is everyone finding that so far? All right. Cool. Okay. So, and then, so for the, for the A part, the first part, we've just got one more phrase to learn. So this, this last, um, the last bar, which goes. So we'll repeat that. Let's do the last two bars together. Okay, so that's the whole A part. So maybe if we try and put the whole lot together and play it through. And uh, again, we'll, we'll just loop it round because um, it's just the best way to learn is just, just repeat it and just keep playing it slowly over and over. So.
So that's the A part. Um, is that is everyone sort of okay with that? Are you? Are I'm you okay. Yeah. Cool. Any questions or anything that anyone wants us to go over quickly? And if not, we shall move on to the B part. We'll just do it the same way. So this first bar is just straight up the scale. So that's easy. Um, It doesn't start on the C, it starts on the E. Okay, move on to the next one. So that's the next bar. So that one, we've got a tricky a bit because there's a big jump down from the uh, whatever note it is down, you know. So maybe we'll just uh, practice that a little bit slowly just to get that nice and clean. We'll just go between those no two notes for a bit. do the whole bar. So the next one is almost the same as the first bar, but it's slightly different at the end. So uh, bar three. So that last note, it's uh, it's not like that. Yeah, I don't know what note it is, but we'll just play it again. We'll do. We'll just loop it. Sorry. Ah. So that you just you can just keep um, the uh, the last note is a draw. The second to last note is a draw. You just move move up one. bar to go which again has got another one of these big jumps so we'll just maybe go between them a bit and get it nice and clean you could probably do it tongue blocking either side of your mouth if that's a thing that you do but so the whole bar
Okay, so let's um, try and join some of them together. So let's go back to the, the first bar. Um, let's just repeat the first bar and we'll go on to the second bar, repeat that a few times and then we'll join them together because we, uh, we didn't do that earlier. So back to the first bar. So let's put them together. Just So then, should we try and join the last two bars together as well? So again, we'll play them, play them on their own, and then we'll put them together. So the, the third bar. together the two last bars Should we try and do the whole B part now? So, ready? I'll say. So that is the whole tune. Um, how how's everyone? How have you found it? And is that it's any? Tough. It's tough. tough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's um... yeah. It's 
in essence, it's simple, but um, but it's but also there's there's you know there are hard bits in there. There's the jumps and then there's the funny timing. Um, uh, but it's the kind of thing if you just keep playing it round enough times, you'll you know you'll you'll get it and you'll get a good feeling for it. Um, What's so, the normal speed then, sir? That's on. Um, probably like quite fast, uh, is it? Well, kind of. You can hit. I think some people play it quite fast, some people play it quite slow. You can oh, sort right. of get away with. Yeah, but I'll probably do something like. The, yeah. Um, so um, maybe if we just uh, play, put the A part and the B part together and play the whole thing through slowly. So, ready? There we have a tune. So I've only just seen on the um, the chat the um, having music on on the uh, asking for that. So sorry, I haven't got that um, on the, whether whether to draw or blow. So thanks, Sam, to, well, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> for providing that. I don't know how accurate it is? I just made it up as I went along. But someone's just sent me the holes in 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 the in for diatonic in C. So if you just bear with me, and I'll I'll be able to share that with you in a sec. Oh right, okay. Is that all right? Um, yeah. yeah. If you've got different instruments, that it, it could be confusing. I've got a chromatic that's an orchestral tuning, so it makes no difference at all. So, uh, I um, think yeah. just hearing it, hearing is probably the best. I, mean. I think because it's it is sort of um, from yeah, it's it's you know it's folk music, and yeah. I think hearing it is the, is the best way to learn. But. I, I know, yeah, I understand it can help as well to uh, to know which holes you're blowing in as well. Um, can I ask anyway. a question, uh, Sam, um, um, Simon? Yeah. Uh, what it is is that I, I had to, when you were doing your introduction, I had to run out and see the postman who had arrived. <laughs> um, what part of the country is this specific style from? Right, it's, mo it's, it's Northern England. Um, yeah. There's yeah, quite a so lot in Northumbria. Um, Northumbria, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 there's quite a bit in in that uh, sort of repertoire, and there's yeah, yeah. Um, there's quite a lot historically from sort of from the northwest as well. But um, it it kind of died out, but it's kind of coming back. Um, yeah. In fact, I've got this book here, which I'll sort of show you, um, which is absolutely full of these I, tunes. I can't see for the music up oh, the music and the diatonic music. Sorry, I've got yeah. Um, I can't actually see. Hang on a sec. Where's me? Right, so it's called John of the Green, the Cheshire Way. Right. Um, okay. So, if you if you can sort of read music, then mm -hmm. there's 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 loads and loads of these tunes in here, and a lot of them are really good for, uh, or would be good for chromatic, because um, 
some of them have got quite a lot of um you know sharps and flats and stuff so just for i'll just sort of hold it up just for example i don't think you'll be able to even see it but hang on a sec where am i so yeah just um uh, it's yeah, probably the yeah. best thing you know but yeah. um it's the kind of thing you can't really play very easily on on the oh. on other harmonicas but actually on a chromatic suits suits really well mm. um so there, yeah there, there's yeah. a there's uh, an interesting yeah yeah, I'm I'm speaking here, but I know Jim Davis is a lot more knowledgeable than I am on the English traditional music. Yeah, he, uh, he probably um, yeah, well, um, um, have a good conversation with Jim there. But yes, that that sounds great. I'll 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 try and get that. Yeah, it's called yeah John of the Green, the Cheshire Way. Um, yeah. like I'm not really yeah ch a chromatic, but I've got um. There's one tune that I've sort of had a, been having a bit of a go at, which is called "The Hole in the Wall." So I'll play you that because it's it's a three tone. Oh, yeah. It's got like good little bits. For... sound as well um that was a chromatic you were playing that one that was a chromatic yeah yeah yeah, yeah. great excellent sounded great to oh. me anyway <laughs> cool. yeah um so yeah there is a, a world of um interesting sort of three two tunes out there um yeah. so yeah just have a drink jim are you talking I can see you talking, Jim, but I can't hear you. Thank you. How's that? Hello. Oh, you're gone again. Wait, Jim, you're gone. There you go. How's that then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can hear you now, yeah. I was going to say that the triple hornpipe goes right the way across from Lancashire, right up to the central belt of Scotland. Um, mm, right. If you play something special, there's Cameo from France which is a Jacobite song. Oh, uh, right. That's Edinburgh. Right. But the strange thing about the 3-2 is that the triple hornpipe was the most common dance in 18th century, early 19th century. But nobody ever wrote it down as a dance. So although right. he's got clog dance written down, rapper Morris, nobody ever wrote down the steps for a triple hornpipe dance. Right. So um, some of the dance people now are trying to get together and work out what a triple dance, what a triple hornpipe dance might be. Right. Because they, they, but they, but nobody knows. It was never written down. All those, right. All those 19th century um, vicars who were going out recording never went out in the north of England or the borders to do it. Okay. So we've lost all that. Even right, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess. Very interesting, Jim. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone can make up their own dance to it then, I guess. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And um, how did you come across them, uh, Simon? How did you come across the, them? So obviously you thought that there was significant enough to do a workshop on it. Um, you, did you just particularly like that style? They're just a part of the, the sort of the repertoire of yeah playing the folk stuff, I guess. So you know, um, yeah, if you do like jigs, reels, and stuff, then you know a few three twos as well. Uh, you know. Just, and do yeah. you play in a, in a folk group? Do you play in a folk band? No, I just play. Yeah, just by myself or something yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, not in a band as such, but yeah. Um, well, our band does play three twos. Right. Did there, 
the rhythm has always thrown us. We've never been able to play it as music. <laughs> There's not never right. <laughs> band who've been able to play it as music. We've always been playing the notes. Right, yeah. Right. And that kills the music when you're trying mm. to notes, right. And yeah. And a lot of the three twos, they seem to have almost 11 beats. You know, I'm not a musician enough, but a lot of the phrases roll over into the next bar. It, yeah, 100%. Some of them, that's one of the reasons why I picked this one to learn, because it doesn't really do that. But some of them, they, they really do. Um, and they can really sort of confuse you a bit. There's a, yeah, here's one that I'll play. Can, can you? The, um, the, uh, um, lion. You're sorry. Saying, why, why is it called three two? Why is it? Yeah, let's, your lion has asked the question there. Oh, sorry, I didn't see. Right, sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, there's loads of things I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as Davina says. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's called three two because that yeah, there's there's three beats in a bar and the um and there's well three three lots of two so one two 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 and that that's yeah that's your basic bar but obviously the notes can get you know divided up and 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 slurred and everything to sort of so it's not just strictly that all the time but that's the basic basic rhythm but um i'll play one that sort of illustrates what um, what Jim was saying about how some of the, the phrases can kind of slip across the bars and um, and uh, it can be sort of confusing to count because like it sounds like the beginning of the phrase is starting halfway through a, a bar. Um, so this is called the three-footed chestnut, which is a um, sort of a modern one by um, John Spires and John Bowden. I'm not sure which wrote it, if or both of them, but yeah. Um, so it's it's three two, but it does sort of go over the over the uh, all over the place with where the, the the phrasing starts across the bars and stuff. So, but it doesn't sound funny in any way. It just sounds like a normal sort of tune. But so. <laughs> sort of <laughs> difficult to count but it, it musically it, you know it flows um but yeah there's definitely stuff happening across the sort of the bars if that's the, the phrase that yeah that was great there's a group called leather that, that plays some oh like yeah that. <coughs> they do a lot of step. three twos yeah if, if mm -hmm. you listen to yeah yeah a lot of their mm -hmm. stuff is is in that yeah in fact mm -hmm. they play quite a few tunes out of this this book you'll see a lot of the, yeah, what they play. I think that they get a lot of their tunes out of it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Um, so maybe you could just um, go over the tune we've learned again to sort of, mm -hmm. before we, everyone forgets it. Just, just, just before I do, can I just ask you, do you yeah. sight read? Or do you just... Well, um, not on the harmonica. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a I can sight read, but I'm a bad sight reader. But right. on the like on the on the violin, I can. Yeah, well, not, I was thinking there. It was you. You showed the music in the key of G, and you started playing a G harmonica. Oh, well, that's just because if 
something's normally played in the key of G, I'll play it in G on the harmonica, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but I was just doing it in C just because that's the key that everyone has. Well, that's all right, because I can say if, if you were sight reading that, then it I wasn't sight reading it, no, no. no. I was just, <laughs> I, I know, I, I had the, yeah, the, the music was in my head, not, yeah. Okay, um, I've got the, um, I think it's the diatonic in, I, I put it up just a minute ago, the diatonic um, holes. So if I put that up, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I share my screen on that, hang on. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you have to put it in C as well. <laughs> so. Um, so let's just all play it together, but uh, yeah, a nice slow pace, so. Maybe that's, maybe a bit slower, hang on a sec. Is that right? How 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 in the heads is it? Um, is it yeah? Is there anything else that anyone wants to sort of go over in that tune? Any sort of tricky bits or? Um... Is is the measure of the notes? Um, I know it's it's kind of difficult as I'm playing along with you. Yeah. To try and, to try and get that bounce going. So you're emphasizing one of those notes. One of those there. The first note of every bar, is it? Well, um, I'm sort of giving it the, uh, sorry, Jim, are you? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you read that thing, Jim. The thing, the thing that's wrong there is it's written in 3-4, and that's the trap. Oh, yeah. So used to playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that you can't play one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's something, our band's been playing 
three twos offhand for about 12 years, I suppose. Not all the time I've been there. But we've never really got it right. Right. We're, we're always trying to play the notes instead of playing the music. Yeah. Well, let's just um, let's look at a bar. Let's just do the first bar, but let's really try and do the, um, like, the, put the, the sort of, get the two, the, the, uh, like the, the three groups of two. And so we'll emphasize, um, it'll be sort of every other note, but it's like one, two, one, two, one, two. That, so that's where we'll put the beat, the bum, 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 bum. So like, da, 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 da. So let's just do that one bar, but with that, emphasizing that rhythm. So. Let's do the first two bars. We'll just loop the first two bars. But with that, keeping that rhythm. So do a bit slower. But then um, you probably that that sort of just doing that will that'll bring the rhythm out a lot more than just playing it like. But um, also, like you probably wouldn't want to do that all the way through. You'd probably want to mix up the rhythm a bit and put um, sometimes put an emphasis on on another note. Um, otherwise, it might sound a bit mechanical if you just sort of um, went all the time um, so you could try putting uh, an emphasis on an offbeat just to you know make things a bit more lively so that might sound like oh hear the difference there when I was playing it through before um, I was probably doing a mi mixture maybe um, just sort of subconsciously just you know um, so uh, yeah is there a version of this we can listen to on YouTube just to try there's and get it in? got to be yeah I'm sure there will be what's it called Miller's um, yeah. Dusty Miller, Miller. Yeah. You'll probably find that there's um, all, all various kinds. I, I, uh, I've come across a Scottish one that's not um, in that timing, so you might oh, find well, the Scottish version. Yeah, well, you yeah, get loads of them, like, yeah, tunes with the same name and stuff. But, yeah, did you want to um, put one on now for everyone just to listen to, or was it just a, a general question? I can't remember who had asked it. No, it was, just, it was just something that I wanted to to shoot for an yeah. hour or so after after the. Yeah. I don't want to take up everybody's time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I um, just want to try and get it in my head and. Yeah. Get, get, get more of my scale going. So. Right. Yeah, I'm sure there will be. A lot of first position um, stuff. So. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Now, that, yeah. This may sound a weird question, but the, uh, uh, although that was had three four at the start. I would have called that six four, which is sound, yeah. sounds weird. 
because <laughs> it's well, that conscious. the way that 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 should yeah the way it's written the thing is six that's the, the confusing thing is six four and three two yeah will look exactly the same on the bar yeah but the, 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 the thing is it's where how the rhythm goes yeah whereas six four has got like more of a, a waltzy type of groups of three mm. um the, the three two is more like four four but with an extra half a bar tagged on the end um mm -hmm. yeah but, yes. they, but they sort of look the same but so so that's why the sort of a bit of you need a bit of knowledge of the music not just the notes to make it sort of sound mm. sound right mm. um yeah, i think the one i put up there simon it it was it's for chromatic and as as the guys have said that it was um it was three four times so i'm not sure if that's confused people more than it's uh, <laughs> I, think um, it's yeah. I apologize for that everyone oh no that's all right but i think yeah just um ignore the three four and just yeah three two you wouldn't think that it could make such a difference <laughs> um like a two and a four i mean they divide the same anyway it's like it's, it's confusing but somehow it makes like an absolute world of difference I think how you explain it, it makes if you the way the way you said it is three lots of two. I think that's yeah. the best, best way to the easiest way to remember it. That's, yeah, and it's, and it's nothing like a, a a three four or anything like yeah, that. It's nothing like it. No, um, um, you're counting two sort of. You're counting in twos basically, aren't you? But there's three. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, and I think the best way to sort of, if you sort of, um, kind of forget is just think of the song the dance to your daddy because that that's really is uh three two you shall have a fishy on a little dishy you shall have a fishy when the boat comes in one two 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 um and then yeah i don't know if anyone if you know the um that other northumbrian song um Here's the tender come in. That's that's also. Here's the tender come in, pressing all the men. Oh dear, any you all weedy then? One two 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 one. So um, yeah. Yeah, the way it's written can sort of lure you into a sort of a, a three four type thing, but it's it's not like that. Um, Great, thank you. Yeah. Um, is there any other questions? I've not had a chance to look at all this stuff down the side. Um, Just uh, while you're talking, if you look up Old Lancashire Hornpipe, the C part, oh, yeah. last part of the tune, is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. So <laughs> I suppose if they, when they were around the folk clubs and the skiffle clubs, they must have heard old Lancashire hornpipe, but it must maybe. Have... But uh, the sea part is definitely Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Just trying to think it. I'll have to look. Yeah, yeah. I sort of know it, but not. Yeah, I've got it. Anyway, I won't, yeah, yeah, try. <laughs> but yeah, no, interesting, yeah, yeah. You wonder how much of this stuff is conscious or something has to come from somewhere, it may be in the back of their mind, is this yeah, melody yeah. and they, they, think, they think they've made it up sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's got to come from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think, yeah, what, what I've taken from this is actually you're far off better listening to a lot of this type of music rather than like i mean what you've done today is brilliant it's demonstrating you know how, how it works and everything but then to, to sort of embed that rhythm in your head the only way to do it is to listen to to a lot of that music isn't it absolutely yeah because otherwise uh well you don't know what it's what it sounds like or what it's meant to sound like so yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah um because I'm, I'm I'm trying to learn a, a bit of jazz on a well, it's, it's an augmented tuned harmo uh, diatonic harmonica, um, right. and I, I I can't 
read music fluently, but I've I've got to play play bass as well. So that's that's a bit confusing with the with the with the bass clef. But got to a point where I can I know the rhythm of the tunes, mm. but I'm able to but to read the music to play the notes and then translate yeah. it to a total different tuning on on a on the augmented harmonica, which is right. Uh, it's a challenge, you know. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like start, starting again, basically, with the whole new. I don't know. What is an augmented? It's tuned in fourth, so so it, in effect, each hole has got you, know, you got you got your blow, your draw, and then two bend, two um, bends. So you got a. <laughs> So basically, all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So, so it's, but it's if if you, it's only for soloing. So it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you try to play the blues with that, it's gonna. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're not gonna win many friends with that. <laughs> yeah. So so oh, yeah. I so like the sound of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, every time I can, I try and mention this thing, but. I think the point there is, is 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 knowing knowing the tune first, you know, quite well before um, yeah. you can get to the music or or trying to play it. Yeah, you know? um, I, I mean, I I find it's good, to, yeah, to know that the um to listen to the tune and get to know it, and then some, like the music um uh can just fill in the gaps if there's some hard bits you can't work out what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great to be able to to just sight read and just play, you know and then you'd have sort of have the notes but um but you need to yeah to, to know it in you as well yeah. not just to sort of read it um when we did when we were learning new when we were learning new tunes we started to get easy abc which plays as a midi oh yeah get onto the ashford folk website which is our website all the tunes there have got the dots but they've got a midi as well yeah and uh, so if you can't if you can't read music, which I couldn't when I first started, then you can drop onto the MIDI and learn from the MIDI. Mm. So I then I'd definitely recommend also trying to listen to a recording of someone who plays it well as well, because otherwise <laughs> cause the MIDI is just going to be quite, you know, mechanical. It'll give yeah. you the notes, but um, yeah. But then the other thing is you listen to a recording of someone who's like really good. Um, just listen and to they add loads of stuff and make it you know all interesting and you know and you're like oh, i can't learn you know but if you got yeah i just listened on youtube to dusty miller on a yeah an accordion and a violin and it's just way too fast to even contemplate right. <laughs> <laughs> well the good thing about youtube is you can um you can put it on half speed um but um but i can record a nice steady version and put it on youtube um and then it's just there if you want it, you know, sort of to refer back to it as well. Well, if you were to do that, I could put a link to it on like the previous sessions yeah. page. So yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, Remember to do it in a C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it actually we, sounds yeah, more so melodic in a G. I tried it with a G. It sounds a lot, a lot sweeter. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Well. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, Simon. Especially, especially if you're octave playing and tongue blocking, so it's yeah. quite nice. Did someone have a? Yeah, it was me. Sorry, could you play it through, um, including embellishments that you typically put on it as well? So if yeah, you were I mean, playing, I, honest, I haven't really got a lot of that I'd add to it. Oh, um, right, cool. yeah. Yeah, but um, but I can just play it. I'll just play it through just to. Yeah, sort of, uh, uh, you know, at pace, and then you, just to get, get that sort of feel, if you like. Brilliant.
messed it up a bit there, but yeah. Um, yeah but yeah, you. you can sort of try and put, uh, you know, some emphasis on different beats and stuff to sort of, yeah, make it a bit more lively. Um, and yeah, you can sort of do it at different points in the bar, really, with, with these. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Jim asks, can you do a party piece three two? <laughs> there you go. So, not not quite sure what that would look like, but um, <laughs> feel feel free to demonstrate. <laughs> Should we do a? Let's do the lads of Anik because it's a classic of the. Uh, um, I'll do it in A just because that's what I like doing it in. But. Um... Very good, brilliant. So, do you have any other questions for Simon? I think you've That's under Thumbgreen Pie tune, and that you is, know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, do, do, do you get a lot of your stuff from the Thumbgreen Pie music? Um, oh, well, I'd like to get some more actually, but um, some of those pipe tunes fit really nicely on harmonicas because, like, sort of some of the really older ones, um, back when the, the pipes didn't have as many notes. Um, like that one, they sort of uh, they just fit within one octave, and then um, I guess because they didn't have that much to play with, so that there's just like loads of variations. They'll you know be mm -hmm. attuned with like yeah, the sort of the basic, and then yeah, loads of variations. So, um, but because they just fit in that like middle octave on the, they fit really nicely on the harmonica. Mm -hmm. Some of them. So um, uh, yeah, but yeah, that's. Um, yeah, Northumbrian pipe tune. And you find it uh, good to play the tremolo. Did you ever try it on any other type of harmonica and then choose the tremolo or have you always stuck to the tremolo? No, I've sort of um, got all the, you know, diatonic and chromatic as well. But um, uh, I don't know, I just sort of um, like the tremolo, so I tend to uh, mm -hmm. stick to that mostly. But um, Simon? Yeah. What 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 tremolo harmonicas are, do you play usually? Do you have um, a normal or? I um the Tombow Band Twenty Ones are the right. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, they're a nice mid mid range of like not too expensive. Um, yeah, but uh, not like, but but also decent, you know. So okay. that that last one I did was on the. Combo band it looks the, yeah. so is that a, a plastic comb on there yeah yeah it's a plastic one on the yeah the tombow band the, yeah. the, the, the deluxe version has the um uh wooden comb yeah because they're quite finely made aren't they the the combs on on the tremolos quite yeah the holes are yeah quite sort of small small um, yeah. thin thin walls and things yeah yeah Thank you very much. yeah 
but yeah, they, they work well for this kind of music. So, so yeah. Um, okay. Any other questions? Someone mentioned they're happy with the the Seidel fanfare. So. Um, oh yeah, fanfare. Um, is that the one where you is it? Is that the one that holds that? Um, is that just the standard tremolo, the sidle one, or is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the holes that, yeah, so you, yeah. I think it's Joss or Joss has, has asked that. Um, but if there's nothing else, Simon, we'll let you go for a siesta. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope that was all right for everyone. That's brilliant. Great, thanks, hello. I say that these, these sessions, I always find that, uh, you know, be, not I'd play tremolo, but I just, get so much you know sort of a wider um knowledge and uh, an idea of what everyone else is doing certainly in the harmonica world i think it's, I think mm. it's brilliant just to just 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 hear the, all these little different um different nuances of of the great instrument we play you know so mm, yeah, it's not yeah. all about diatonic it's not all about chromatic it's, it's about everything isn't it mm. um so, so and, and, and i suppose i think you're Pretty much carrying the flag, aren't you, for, for the um, for the tremolo? <laughs> I think um, you're the minute, yeah. Younger generation, you know, for 